Hello friends, from this section onwards, I will try to replicate the reference article that I showed you in the previous videos. If you have not yet gone through that article, I request you to please go through it first. It would help you understand things better. Okay, let's start. I have opened a new instance of forum software. So if you can recall from the theoretical lesson, what should be the first step? It should be to load the data set into active workspace area. To load the data set, I should first drag the file widget into active workspace area. As you can recall, if I double click on the file, there is an option to choose the data set. I will use the diabetes data set that we downloaded in the earlier videos. It is already selected here. If it was not selected, then you can select the database by clicking on this button and locating your data set and click on open. As you can see, some of the brief properties about the data set that there are 520 instances, 17 features, there are no missing values, therefore data imputation is not needed. If I see below, I can notice that there are 17 different columns in this data set, out of which first 16 are the feature through which we will diagnose if the case can be a diabetes positive or negative. So the last column that is labeled as class has values negative or positive. So its role should be target and not the feature. Because this is what we want to achieve. Now that we have changed certain values, before closing the box, I should click on apply and close the box. Our data set is loaded. If you can recall, what visit should we use next to visualize the data set? Yes, it's data table. So I can simply drag and drop it into the workspace. I can connect it with the data set. So it is connected now. If I, if I double click on the data table down, I can see that my data set is visible now. The first column is now the class because it's the target and the other 16 columns are adjacent to it. As you can notice the age column has numerical values and rest of the other columns have categorical values. What do we mean by categorical value? For example, gender has the pro for example, gender has the value either male or female. Polyuria has the values yes or no. Polydipsia has values as yes or no. These are called categorical values. So, so far we have loaded the data set into our active workspace area. We have visualized the table. We can also visualize the data in the distribution graphs like this. By now, if you see that when I connected the data table with the distribution, by default, the option selected was of selected data only. I need to change it back to whole data. To select the whole data set, I will first remove the connection between selected data and data of distribution, and I will create a new connection between the data of data table with the data of distribution and click on OK. Now, if I double click on the distribution widget, I can see the graphical representation of the data set. For example, here it is gender versus frequency. This plot is gender versus frequency. We can change it to any other plot that we want. For example, polyuria versus frequency, muscle stiffness versus frequency and so on. So now that we have loaded a data set into active workspace area, we have visualized the data table and its graphical representation. We shouldn't forget to save our work. So I will go into file, click on save. I will save it as diabetes workflow. You can save it as with any name that you want. So now that I have saved it, 
I can close my workspace and reopen it anytime and I can continue my work. That's all for this video. We will continue with the next video.